everybody welcome back to my channel I'm Katrina and this is Nick today's video is going to be our gender reveal for those that don't know I am currently pregnant I'm uh, like 14 and a half weeks by the time this comes out probably be like 15 15 and a half um, but we do not know what we are having right now we have no idea we're waiting on the phone call but uh, we, th I thought we could uh, chat about what we're hoping for. Obviously, if uh, the baby is not what we are saying, as long as the baby comes into this world and healthy and happy, we'll, we'll deal with the rest. Yeah. But uh, what are you thinking? What are you, what are you hoping for? I am hoping for a girl. Okay. That's what I'm hoping for. That's, I feel like most people will say the son because everybody says girls are so much more difficult, this, that, and the other thing. But I feel like I will be able to do all the things that a little girl will want to do a little more enthusiastically than a boy. Because, like, I don't like sports. I don't like biking. I'm not a very active person. It's, that's just, stuff just doesn't really interest me, me that much. I could definitely, like, get behind, you know, have little tea parties and, like, you know, pretending to be at a restaurant or whatever else she's playing with her stove. Yeah. Okay, well, I, on the other hand, am hoping for a boy. I am uh, not the girliest of no. uh, women, so I am hoping for a boy. Not because of the sport aspect, but just, I don't know. I just... I like the ring of mama's boy. <laughs> I like I like the idea of that. <laughs> but like I said at the beginning, I'm going to be just as happy with a healthy girl as I would be a baby boy. So um, what do you think it's going to be based on like anyone that's been saying anything, anything that you've read? Um, I think or it's just your gut feeling? I think it's probably going to be a boy for the sole fact that that's what my mother thinks in the last like three or four pregnancies that have happened in my family. My mom has predicted every single one correctly. So there's like, it's probably just sheer blind luck, but at the same time, like it's four out of four. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. And she said a boy. So I'm like, eh, it's probably, probably going to be a boy then. I also think it's a boy for partially that. Um, a couple of my friends that have had kids had just said boy energy. When I went to the doctors for the first time, the, um, the nurse there said she thought boy. Um, and my mom is now thinking it's a boy just because of the fact that I have had really bad heartburn and I have gotten, um, morning sickness pretty bad. And she said that she was the most nauseous and had the most heartburn when she had Isaac, my brother. And I guess, old wives' tales, if you have really bad heartburn, you're going to have a hairy baby. So hopefully it's a hairy baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> but again, no ideas. Hi guys. All right. So before we find out the sex of the baby, I just wanted to take a couple minutes to show off my favorite things that I have acquired for uh, the little bundle of joy to come. I'm currently in the nursery, so I'm gonna try not to show too much because that'll be a later video when it's actually done. Because right now, I don't have too much going on in here. So I'm gonna start with some clothes. Daddy's love bug. I found this on clearance at uh, Old Navy. I wasn't sure what we were having and I'm still not sure, so. I wanted to uh, get some neutral things. So Daddy's Love Bug, which I just thought was so cute. And then Mommy's Cute Asaurus. I love dinosaurs. And uh, if it's a boy, I was thinking about doing a dinosaur themed nursery, but I couldn't wait to start to find out. So it's gonna be Disney themed. And then I love this pineapple and my mom found it. It says rad like dad. <laughs> it's just so cute. And then this Disney onesie, it's got a whole bunch of like Disney animals and their babies. So Bambi, Dumbo, Simba, Thumper, thought it was very cute. 
And then a Mickey sweatshirt with Mickey pants. And before I even see it in the comments, my dad got us a huge Disney gift card for when we got married because we were supposed to be going to Florida, but coronavirus happened and we are not going to go to Florida because it's not safe. <laughs> or at least to what we wanted to do. We wanted to go to Disney, so. Um, Nick said he loved this book as a kid and I was like, absolutely, because I will love this baby forever and ever. I don't know if anyone's ever read it, but he said it was his favorite when growing up. Looks like it's just a kid being crazy and mom saying, I still love you. And then some toys. This is some blocks, some jingly blocks. And then it's one of those that you match up the sizes and put it back on. It's really soft though, oh my lord. This is the only toy that the dogs have been really trying to get at, so doing some training with those pups. And then when I saw these, I couldn't not get them. I am an avid coffee drinker, so when I saw this, I just had to get it. Being pregnant has made my coffee consumption significantly less, but I still love coffee. And Nick loves pizza, and it's a crinkly toy, and then the crust is rubbery for teething. So I just thought these were really perfect and they fit us as parents for the toys and then the Disney stuff we were able to get with that gift card and a whole bunch of other things too but those were our favorites and then there's of course a dino but the stroller is one of my other favorite things I know that we won't be able to use it for a long time but man do I love it a friend gave me that and then this little bouncy seat. It was the first thing I saw when I found out I was pregnant and I just knew my baby needed to have it. So it came home and Nick just built, built it. Hi guys. Okay, so the next clip, um, we were very excited and not very focused when we were recording. I just wanted to prefix it with Nick had literally just woken up from a nap. So uh, he might not look as excited as he actually was, once, like, we recorded it and we were talking more, he was getting more and more excited. Uh, that being said, we just got off the phone with the genetics counselor. The genetics counselor was the person who I went to to see uh, where we stand, low risk, high risk, for any um, disabilities or birth defects. Uh, thankfully, we are on the low side, low risk category obviously that's not a guarantee and if our baby does have a birth defect or does come out with a disability it would be something along the lines of down syndrome we are going to love this baby regardless um but it was just nice to hear that we are on the lower risk side of it so without further ado the next little clip that you're about to watch is going to be us finding out the sex of the baby He's back, he's back to second shift, and he took a nap before work, and that's when the guy called me. <laughs> so I was like, get up, get up, get up. But I was like, okay, let's not be as fast on the phone with the guy. So no. I just was like, call me right back. Mm. So I'm gonna play the voicemail on my phone, recording on Nick's phone, and let's see. Okay, in case you guys couldn't hear it, I don't know the quality on his phone because I don't have the speaker set up to it. We're having a girl. You got what you wanted. And I got what I wanted because I wanted a baby. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited. 